As Cedar's life follows Harold Joe, the director from Cowichan Tribes, as he discovers more about Cedar. The documentary combines stories of elders, carvers, medicine makers, and basket weavers from Vancouver Island to Haida Gwaii on BC's coast. This tree has been nothing but that and more so, but, you know, giving life, you know, um, Kelvin uh, McNeil, you know, we're born out of cedar, we lay to rest in cedar. You know, how true is that? That is very true because as grave digging, I've maybe laid oh, 10 people in a, a cedar canoe, a small canoe that could hold the body and in, in the ground they go. Leslie Bland is the documentary's producer. He's been a friend of Harold Joe's for over a decade. In the past, the two have collaborated on Indigenous-focused stories, such as Sue Halem and Dustin Bones. Bland says the team's success in storytelling is being able to build trust with communities. Not only is, is it being honest and truthful to what is being communicated, so there's trust in, if I, if I share something with you, it'll be handled with respect. There's that. Then secondly, they look at the film, they go, huh, eh, that's pretty good. Like it's it's of good quality, and I think that's part of it. Cedar is the most strong, powerful medicine that we have. For Harold Joe, he shared that after hearing from elders and artists how hard it is to get old growth, it made him reflect and feel guilt about his time working in forestry in the 80s and 90s. But he is proud of his role preserving culture and stories through film, and encourages aspiring filmmakers and storytellers to reach out to their communities. Reach out to your people, reach out to your community, your elders, your, you know, I mean, here in Couch and we're losing them a lot. So my, my importance is, as an individual, is to try to document and preserve it quickly as I can, as fast as I can. A Cedar's Life will make its Canadian debut in early February at Victoria Film Festival. Lee Wilson, APTN National News, Kitimat.